Hard to capture, extravagant, resurrect the track and it's militant. And I react like a convict and start killing. It's manifesting. The gods work like appliances, dealing in my sight like a lot. Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Nalto to explain here, bringing you guys a really, really important Boruto manga chapter discussion for the information we got in Boruto chapter 47. This is one of those discussions where it don't matter how I title it, I can't not avoid putting a somewhat spoiler in the title. This is this is hard. I'm talking about how Amado got the DNA of Jiraiya. Like, there's no way for me not to state Jiraiya in this title. There's no way. There's 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 no way without making it too vague. So I apologize to anime only. I try to uh, walk a very fine line when it comes to spoilers in the titles and in the thumbnail and not making it too vague to where the people that read the manga aren't looking at it saying what the hell is going on. Because when I do that, I get accusations of clickbait even though the title matches the content in the video. So I, I thank you for your support. But you know, I'm just, I'm just gonna keep it real with you. Like I'm gonna have spoiler heavy content but i'm also gonna try and have content that is spoiler free so just stick around for a little bit uh but with all that being said so if you're still here i'm gonna assume you're okay with me talking about spoilers obviously so this is what got me right this is what got me when i was reading the uh chapter comments right like it's going on an hour and a half since i published the video and one of the things i've seen over and over is people are asking hey how in the world, how in the world did Amino get a hold of Jiraiya's DNA in order to make Kashi and Koji? That makes no sense. Kabuto wasn't able to revive him. He said that the body was too far underground. Uh, Kabuto obviously checked the rain village and there wasn't enough DNA there in order to revive Jiraiya. How in the world did Amino do this? People are calling this a plot hole. And so I'm going to say it's not a plot hole. And before I say why it's not a plot hole, I want to run through a couple of things that people are saying for, oh, this is how Amino got the DNA. So this is what a lot of people are saying a lot of people are saying well you know obviously you know Jiraiya was a bit of a womanizer so he could have went to some hot spring got really turned on by some woman used the rub rub no jutsu and a lot of people are saying that however I, I see one big problem with that in order for that to happen Amado would have had to been in the exact same hot spring that day or he would have need to visit that hot spring within three days and look at the droplets all over the place and say this is the sperm of Jiraiya the only way that works is if Amado was secretly watching and knew it and knew the exact same place now somebody say well you know well maybe this is ninja tech and you can fix probably but the thing is the sperm only lives up to three days in the open air so that's the that's the first thing so it can't be that some people say maybe got it from rochimaru i highly doubt that rochimaru and amado are working together i'm not gonna 100 percent rule it out but i'm gonna highly doubt that and that brings me into where i think he got the dna because this is a good segue into it so people are saying well maybe rochimaru had the dna if if he had the DNA, Kabuto would have known about it. Kabuto would not have asked Obito for the chakra rods of the, of the uh, six paths of pain in order to try and revive Jiraiya if Orochimaru had DNA of Jiraiya. So that kind of kills that and that brings me to the point that I'm saying. So I really think that the DNA came from those chakra rods that pain had. So let's look at this for a second. Okay, so we know that Kabuto likely went to the rain village, could not find enough DNA to revive Jiraiya. Therefore, when he and Obito are talking, this is like in the chapter, I want to say around chapter 534, if I'm not mistaken. It's in the 500 somewhere. It's in the uh, 530s to 550s. So I know it's a long range, but I'm going off the top of my head right now. But in that chapter, you have this moment where Kabuto's talking to Obito and he says, if you give me access to Donzo's body, not only can I revive Donzo, but there might be enough DNA in the eye socket. There should be enough DNA in the eye socket for me to revive Shishui Uchiha. And he says that if you give me access Access to the chakra rods of the six paths of pain that were used to kill Jiraiya, there's more than enough DNA there for me to revive Jiraiya. So in the war, we could have had Donzo, we could have had Shisui, and we could have had Jiraiya be revived, but Obito shut it down. Now, those of you guys who watch the anime know that there's uh, a bit of extra added scenes where you see Sasuke in detail destroying Obito's lab, and the manga is, is pretty vague. Like, we see Sasuke take the bandages off, and then we see uh, Sasuke going out the lab and everything. He's getting ready to attack the Zed. Like that's that was kind of vague in the manga, you know, for a 
long time people are looking at it saying oh is Sasuke or these uh, footprints that Sasuke is looking at are these the members of the Konoha 11 who are rushing to the battlefield is Sasuke gonna slaughter everybody that's how the manga kind of did it but we didn't see as much in detail in the manga of Sasuke destroying the lab as we did with uh, the anime version so I really feel like this is one of those times where Amado more than likely some kind of way was able to get into Obito's lab and he was able to get the DNA from there because that's really the only way you can really do that now if they make this thing where Orochimaru is working with Amado they better have a really good explanation for why Orochimaru has been working with them they make they better make a really good explanation and they're gonna have to explain why Miski did not even recognize Kashi and Koji because Miski is very very observant there's no way in hell that he goes to visit Orochimaru and does not pick up on the presence of Kashi and Koji so I definitely think that that has to be the route that they take I really think that has to be the route that they take because there's no grave for Jiraiya there's no grave for him there wasn't enough DNA lurking around for Kabuto to revive him on his own otherwise he would have did it do you understand how overpowered Jiraiya would have been if he was an Edel Tensei and Kabuto was able to control him like he did Itachi and, and uh and Nagato Itachi had to use Koto Masukami in order to break out of it you could have Jiraiya using an imperfect sage mode and just Jiraiya in general Jiraiya was extremely overpowered if you have Kabuto take over his body having him see some big busty woman on the battlefield would not have been a problem and then the psychological advantage you would have had over Naruto could have opened up that one window that's needed to have Naruto capture that's why Kabuto wanted the body the fact that Kabuto could not find any DNA anywhere and he needed those chakra rods that really leads me to believe that's where Amado got it somehow some way Amado found those chakra rods that six past the pain whether they be in Obito's hideout or whether they be in another part of the rain village that Kabuto was not able to get to that's the only way I see that happening but let me know what you guys think about that but as always guys if you like anything I had to say don't forget to comment rate subscribe and share thank you so much for watching until then have an awesome day guys